Hey Aquarius, welcome to the Cosmic Jackal Tarot. I'm your host. Thank you for tuning in. So I know I said last week that I more than likely wasn't going to post any more readings, but here's the thing. You're going to want this one. Jupiter is in Pisces and it has been since I believe December the 28th. Don't quote me. I know it's been since December. And it ends on May the 11th, but it has a little summer break and then it comes back to bless us again in October and then it ends again December the 21st. So here's the thing. I was probably not even going to do this. The thing is, I was supposed to have streamed on Twitch last night. Problem is, everything that could go wrong did. I did my makeup, I got all nice and pretty hours before, and then I hop on to get ready. The game not only crashed, it swore up and down, it was not properly installed, so I had to waste some time doing that. I have updated it, and then it took until 1 a.m. because of all the custom content I have, it took a while to boot. I fell asleep waiting on it, and I'm like, ain't nobody watching me at no 1 a.m. Eastern time, at least I didn't think so. So I was like, I'll just save it for another day. But I didn't want to waste my makeup, so, here I come, Give, blessing you guys once again. Now, why is Jupiter and Pisces so important? Well, here's the thing. It's important for several reasons. One, Jupiter is the ruling planet of Sagittarius and Pisces. But the thing is, the fact that it's in Pisces right now is a good thing if you want it to be. Now, hear me out. This is just a forewarning. You have to be very careful about the thoughts and feelings and intentions that you set during this time because a lot of negative things can spiral and come out and bite you in the ass. So if you're always thinking about how you don't want to go to work, you don't want to be stuck in traffic, you hate your boss, you hate your wife, you hate your husband, you hate your kids, like life will kind of conjure into something and start snatching stuff away from you. But if you keep your mind positive, like Hey, you know what? Today I'm going to I'm going to achieve this. I'm going to see how I can make this happen. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to get $100 just cuz I can. Okay? Well, I mean even then that's sort of a neutral thing, but you want to keep yourself in a position of being positive or at least in a positive mindset. Even if you can't do it on your own, try to do things that make you happy like watching cartoons that used to make you laugh or playing old school video games or Maybe just hanging out with some friends that bring out the best in you. You just want to make sure that during this time, at least up until May, if you can help it, that you're conjuring a mindset of positivity and what will be will be letting go of control and focusing on only what you want. Because if you focus on what you don't want or what irritates you or what disgusts you, like you're just going to keep seeing it everywhere. So be careful, okay? So Jupiter is the planet of wisdom it is the planet of luck it is the planet of childlike innovation and sometimes money not always i feel like a lot of people get like super excited oh jupiter is in this sign yay oh my god it's not always that simple but if you're trying to manifest if you're trying to manifest money it, it you can during this time you just have to have somewhat of an idea on what it is that you want but you have to let go of when and how if that makes any sense. So to say like, again, I want $100. Maybe I'll get it by tomorrow. Okay, well, you've set an expectation and a timeline. And when it doesn't happen, what happens? You get disappointed. Now you don't want nothing to do with the universe. Well, calm down. It, it'll happen, just not right then and there. Or maybe it might. You don't know. You just have to believe. So Aquarius, I'm going to start with your Moonology Manifestation Oracle. There's two there, so I'm not going to take that one. What do we have for Aquarius? Oops, shoot. You have last quarter moon in Cancer. Take a breather. Yeah, take a break. I feel like some of you are like over, trying to overachieve a lot because you don't want to, I mean, you're being a go-getter and it's great, but I feel like you may wind up burning yourself out and I gotta take this advice because my moon is an Aquarius and I've been accomplishing a lot but there are times where I'm like whoo I have to reassess even when twitch wasn't working out yeah I was upset I was really pissed I was drinking smoking feeling myself and I'm like I did all this you know I got my makeup done and all this good stuff just for this shit to not work well 
the good news is I've had people anticipating for when I may stream later because I hyped it up. But everyone knows, like, okay, shit happens. Meanwhile, I was looking forward to the stream. But instead of just being like, oh, my God, fuck all this. I did all this for nothing. I was like, you know what? Let me, I can probably use this makeup to just do a YouTube tutorial. The, that way the memory is still there, you know. But I was also happy because I had splurged on some new makeup. And I haven't really been able to do... A lot of nice luxury things for myself for like a good few months but now I'm back in the groove of things and I'm trying to enjoy stuff so Aquarius I feel like that could be you too where you're like I just want to accomplish things so I don't feel like I'm being like you know a negligent bum or something like that but the universe is like honey I, I, I know what you about like come on just take a break you can start again tomorrow so I'm gonna do your theme with the Sailor Moon Tarot here see what I get for you okay you have the high priestess and the devil in reverse so it's almost as if you're trading higher power or you know being in tune with your in yeah being in tune with your intuition a lot stronger than usual and you're sacrificing a lot of bad habits addictions things that no longer serve you because you don't need that <laughs> it's just holding you back and that could be what you're taking a break from. Like, I feel like there's some guilt or like you're feeling very nervous for how something had happened in the past. And you're not sure when or if you're going to have to answer for it. But the universe is like, honey, like the more you think about it and dwell on what should be your punishment, you're going to attract punishment. Like, just relax. What it will be will be. But you got to gotta take your head out of your ass every once in a while. So I'm going to do your past, present, and future with the modern um, Spellcaster's Tarot. I'm tired. It's I think it's 3 a.m. now. I got off at 12. I finally got off on time. But I was reserving the rest of this night to make sure I got all these readings out. And you are last but not least of me completing everything. Okay, so you have three of swords in reverse. You have page of pentacles in reverse. And you also have the king of swords. I feel like Aquarius, you either avoided a third party situation or you're upset by the fact that something had happened in the past that made you feel betrayed. If it's not necessarily like a relationship, it could be like a former best friend, a coworker, maybe a neighbor, like something definitely has you feeling like you should have just kept to yourself or maybe you did, but like you can't help the fact that some people want to be nosy and they just don't like you because they don't like you. I don't know. Some people just be jealous for no reason. Now with this page of pentacles in reverse could be a earth sign that you're avoiding um, or you're not feeling very stable or you could feel like your money is all over the place I'm hearing. Uh, if this could be a, an earth sign of any kind, it could be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. But I'm not, like, a part of me doesn't really feel like that. I feel like you feel like your finances or your household life or, like, you know, your home life is what I meant to say, is imbalanced. Something's missing or something is out of place and you don't really know how to put it back in order. So there's a part of you that's... I feel like you hit bedrock digging for like some sort of answer or some sort of clarity on how to balance things and earth being the opposite of your sign. So you not saying you never feel grounded, but you definitely don't feel in your element. So it's hard for you to keep balance if you feel like you're stuck or stagnant, like you always have to be moving like a random air current, like things have to keep going or else you just you shut down. King of Swords. That could be very well your energy or another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But King of Swords is a very cold individual. Could be a father figure or like a very spiteful baby daddy or sugar daddy. Like I'm getting the feeling like somebody, there's a lot of like very painful words having to be exchanged. I don't know if it's an ex, but... We'll clarify because I'm like, I'm not really sure why that's there. But it could be you. Like maybe you're getting ready to cut certain people off. And that's fair. But 
Once again, I'm not entirely sure if that's what's going on there. So we're going to clarify with the Disney Villains Tarot deck. Or it could be like people who were naysaying about the fact that like, yeah, like it's this whole imbalance. I feel like there's people that are in your circle probably that have you feeling distraught and you know that they're either they're wishing you ill or they're just kind of like spying on you to tell somebody else something or they're trying to sabotage your job. But Aquarius, it's like you're still standing strong in your element on the outside because you don't you really are not in the mood for people to try you right now. But deep down, there's a party that's like, mm, you, you know, <laughs> like if I have to say something, they're not going to like me anymore. And I've been trying to hold my tongue, man. OK, so you have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse over the Three of Swords in reverse. Did you have the Wheel of Fortune earlier? No, that was the devil. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords over the Page of Pentacles. And then you have the Two of Wands over the King of Swords here. So the Wheel of Fortune in reverse over the Three of Swords. I feel like this was a karmic you had to let go of. Or some sort of karma that caught up to you. Whether you cheated on someone or... They did the cheating or, you know, I remember Aquarius, I told you, like, be careful with your, in your Mercury and Pisces reading because, like, maybe you weren't trying to cheat or your significant other wasn't trying to cheat, but one of you was entertaining your ex or an ex was popping up and, you know, like, they just wanted to have some closure and just close out the chapter. But... If this reading is connecting, I feel like things still went south anyway. And you're feeling like you've lost everything. Or like what was the point of you trying? Because this shit was going to end up, you know, upside down topsy-turvy anyway. Now with the Ten of Swords over the Page of Pentacles in reverse, you're very uncomfortable because this has ended. Either you had a breakup or there's a situation that's come to a close and it's definitely affecting your home life. But home life doesn't always have to be literally, you know, your house or your family. Sometimes it could be everything going on up here. Uh, you know, like th there's a part of you that is having a hard time accepting that things are just over. And you're also having a way harder time accepting that some things just aren't meant to be. Or sometimes certain people just, they just don't mesh well. But that doesn't necessarily impose the idea, or it's not supposed to, that this is your fault or this is the other person's fault. I just feel like the situation as a whole needed to come to a close because it's an ending, you know. And the sooner you allow this ending to take you know, it's, it's coarse and you let it go. The more you hold on to it, like the longer it's going to take for you to move on and heal in your own way. So with this two of wands with the king of swords, honestly, you're trying to manifest a soulmate here. And maybe you have one coming in. Like I said, it could be a fellow air sign, but if not, could be a fire sign with that two of wands, you know, two of wands is soulmate energy but it could also be a twin flame but I mean even then here I don't really get the sense of that I feel like you're going to walk into somebody who completes you or maybe maybe your relationship didn't end after all maybe you're just getting closure from your ex and accepting that it's over but now you're with somebody who really does make you happy it's just going to take you time to appreciate it for what it is because you're still unlearning toxic habits and when you've gone through a lot of trauma and mind games and never feeling secure in previous relationships, it's going to be damn hard for you to wake up one day and just accept that you're in something that's completely healthy and adjust to it. Your partner is definitely trying to be patient with you and they understand that your past was horrific. So they're not trying to force you to get over said person. But once again, make sure that you are doing everything you can to communicate positively and effectively with your significant other Aquarius but also make sure that they're taking the effort to do the same for you you know other than that 
I don't think you have anything to worry about. I think the biggest thing for you to make sure that you're working on is taking time for yourself, healing and breathing and, you know, just taking care of yourself. But you're also learning how to effectively communicate and be in a healthy relationship and not let it run your entire life for once. Because most Aquarians I meet when they get in a relationship, they are all about their partner to a point where they may as well be joined, you know, join it at the hip or conjoined at the hip. I, I forget the word, but Aquarius, I think you're also learning how to take a step back and stop like uh, being a like, you know, codependent and obsessive with your partner and getting to know them first and the energy that they bring to the table because you can't deal with that toxicity anymore. No one can and no one ever should. So that's your reading. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to keep my outro short or shorter than usual, but thank you for tuning in. If this resonated, great. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. If it didn't, that's okay. I still do personal readings, or maybe you'll catch another reading that I do that may actually paint a whole beautiful story that matches you. Cool. Other than that, enjoy Jupiter being in Pisces for the next few months. I love you. Take care. I'm going to go lay down now, and yeah, be safe. Stay alive, okay? Love you. Bye.